Good morning. Today's Wednesday. Um, we went out for a walk this morning. I did a workout and I actually just made some pancakes as well because um, the ones I made yesterday were so nice. So I made them again. Um, and I thought this morning I would get ready with you, show you like the makeup that I'm doing at the moment, um, the skincare that I'm doing. First of all, I fake tanned last night and I used my favourite Tan Lux drops, but you need to wash your hands and I fell asleep and forgot to wash my hands. So yeah, we're dealing with this situation. Also, I um, didn't tan my face either, so we're not matching. <laughs> and I've just washed my face and it's gone really red. So anyway, let's start. Today I'm shooting content pretty much all day. Um, I forgot my to-do list here actually. Yeah, I did some washing and stuff this morning. Um, and then I'm literally shooting all day. So I'm gonna get ready now. I'm using this new Sunday Riley CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. Um, it's obviously meant to make your face really glowy. And this is the cutest little mini bottle. You might remember they sent it to me as a Valentine's present last week. My hands are ridiculous. I'm so sorry. That is disgusting. Um, oh, this is really nice. I absolutely love, I don't know why my face is so red. I absolutely love Sunday Riley. I think it's an incredible brand. The products aren't cheap, but they are so worth it. Um, I do think sometimes with skincare, investing is or finding the products that work for you is the best thing to do so i'm also using um sunday riley auto correct brightening and depuffing eye contour cream by the way this video is not sponsored by sunday riley but if sunday riley is watching i use your products every day <laughs> and i absolutely love them um so yeah how is everyone doing um, I did actually ask you guys some questions on Instagram um, to do like a little bit of a QA. and a So I thought while I was doing my makeup, I could answer some questions. Actually, let me get the questions up on my computer. Okay, I've got the questions up. Also, I just have to say, sorry if you can hear like drilling and random noises. Um, my brother and my dad are doing something outside, so... Very sorry if that's annoying. I feel like I'm apologizing loads at the beginning of this. Oh, I'm just using the Sunday Riley Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. I absolutely love this. This is honestly the best moisturizer I think I've ever used. It smells incredible and it's just so calming and hydrating. Um, and I sometimes find like moisturizers make me break out, but not this one. I actually haven't had any like proper spots in the last couple of weeks which is really good i've just got scarring and like redness and stuff like that oh doing your skincare is just the best so anyway let's dive into some questions um i mean the most asked question that i always get is what do you use to shoot and how do you edit your pictures so i'm thinking i will include this in another vlog another time um, and i'll like do a proper sit down and show you how i edit my photos because it's different for every photo so it's really difficult for me to kind of pin down a specific answer why is that so red um so yeah, I think I will show you that, but I use Tezza to edit. I just really like the options that you can do and I'm not like crazy. Oh, I'm just using the Dior Forever, what's this called? Forever Skin Glow Foundation in the shade 3WO. I use a really thin layer of this just to match my color. Um, yeah, so, I shoot on my iPhone, I've got the iPhone 11, I shoot on that most of the time and then if I'm shooting like any client work 
or anything that I want to look a little bit more professional. Um, then I shoot that on my camera, which is a Canon 70D. Um, yeah, but I don't think it's important for you to have like a professional camera if you want to start taking photos. iPhones are amazing. And actually, a lot of the time my clients ask for iPhone photos for social content because it does perform better than camera, which is really annoying, but that is just life. Um, I actually used to, I went through a phase just after Christmas where, well, kind of like around Christmas time actually, where I really enjoyed shooting on my camera and I got really into it. And then I just kind of, not fell out of love with it, but it didn't feel the same like instant, raw, kind of like everyday content that I like to post. So I've kind of steered away from it a little bit. But let me know what you think. Do you prefer camera or iPhone? Because I definitely prefer iPhone for like general Instagram. And then if I'm looking at something for like photography, then camera. Um, and then editing wise, I use Tezza, um, and I don't really edit my Instagram photos that much. I will do, um, lower the shadows. Wait, do I lower the shadows? No, increase the shadows. So there's not a lot of shadows. So it's quite soft. Lower the exposure. Um, I usually play around with the brightness a little bit. And then one thing I like to do with the colors is remove any blue tones from the images because for example when you have like a photo with um, a white background so for example if this was the photo and the background was white a lot of the time the lighting can either go really yellow or really blue and I hate when it goes really blue so I always remove that I sometimes um, lower the saturation of the yellows but yeah it's really difficult for me to explain so I think I will do maybe in next week's vlog I will sit down and show you like after a shoot how I edit um also I just used the NARS creamy concealer in the shade custard um when I have tanned I always like to use unless I um tan my face if I don't then I like to use this Dior um, foundation because the colour just matches and it's really thin and glowy it doesn't look really heavy which I don't like uh, let's do another question what should we do mm -mm -mm. what's currently on your wish list must have daily luxuries oh I like that question okay on my wish list I don't actually have anything hopefully we're gonna be buying a house next year so this year, I'm just really focused on saving. Um, I also want to get myself a car this year because um, I've been learning to drive. Obviously with COVID, I've had to stop learning to drive. So I need to pick that back up. So yeah, I wanna get myself a car. So as well, thinking about saving for that. So yeah, I'm not really, I don't really have anything on my wish list. I did actually have um, the Bottega Veneta belt, the really skinny one. Um, with like the triangle little thing um, that was on my wish list and I actually bought that for myself uh, when was it like last month and it stuck at UPS I'm not sure it's something to do with Brexit they're not able to ship the package I'm not really sure why and um, I'm a little bit concerned because obviously that's quite an expensive purchase um, and yeah, it just says Brexit, it's being held. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. Um, but yeah, nothing really on my wish list actually. Uh, I'm trying to think. No, nothing. It's my birthday coming up um, in April. So um, I guess I should start thinking because when people ask you what you want for your birthday and you're like, uh, I don't really know. It's really annoying. I hate it when people say they don't know what they want for their birthday because it doesn't give you any ideas. Uh, so yeah, I should start thinking about that. I definitely don't think I want any new bags. Oh my God, that bumblebee is so big. Pretty sure that just flew into the roof. Great. Um, 
yeah, I don't think I want any new bags. I feel like I have all the bags that I love. And the only other bag on like my long term wish list would be either a Hermes bag or a Chanel. I think, um, yeah, Chanel bag, definitely vintage Chanel uh, would be on like my long term wish list. But that's not something I'm going to be buying anytime soon. <laughs> um daily luxuries i quite like that um that question it's quite quite nice i would say things like candles are such like a daily luxury for me i love lighting candles when i'm working i'm just using my chanel bronzer um i love lighting candles when i'm at my desk when i'm in the bath uh when i'm just like watching tv i basically just love lighting candles all the time um so i really like investing in like diptyque i actually really want a byredo candle so i guess that's on my wish list when i'm shooting i like to put a little bit more makeup on than usual Usually I just do concealer and um, concealer and then blush. But when I'm shooting, I like to just do a little bit more because, oh my God. I feel like today I'm being really clumsy. I think it's one of those days. Um, but yeah, can you see the glow in my skin? I actually think that's down to this, the CEO glow. That's really difficult to say. Uh, let's do another question. Oh, I just used the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Blush. You can see this is literally flat because I've used it so much. Glossier Cloud Paints are amazing. If you're new to using cream blush, um, I basically only use cream products now on my skin because it just works the best for me. I don't get breakouts. My skin doesn't really get that oily actually. Um, and I quite like it looking quite glowy uh definitely try the glossier cloud paints if you can they last forever i've had this for about i would say like three or four years i've had this for ages because you only need a tiny bit um literally a tiny tiny bit and they're incredible i love them the colors are amazing they've actually just brought out some new ones as well let's do another question Okay, so this leads quite nicely from my last question. Advice on budgeting slash saving when you're self-employed. So obviously, as I just said, I'm saving for a house next year and also a car. Um, so saving, I definitely think, I'm quite new to saving, I think. I didn't really, I wasn't good at saving. I used to just kind of go from paycheck to paycheck when I was at uni and I didn't really save. And I think because I didn't have any outgoings at all um, when I was at uni, I didn't worry about it because I didn't have anything to pay for. I'm actually just popping some of the Biotary Hy Hyaluronic Hydro Powder under my eye. I've been doing this recently because my mascara keeps transferring underneath. And I saw someone recommend just putting a little bit of powder like around your eye. And it does work. Um, what was I saying? Oh, saving, yeah. So when I was at uni, I, was, I just didn't save anything. And then once I left uni and obviously had my business, it became more apparent that you need to save. And going paycheck to paycheck is just not a good idea. Um, I haven't really done anything specific to start saving. I literally just worked out my outgoings so all the things i need to spend money on each month that i have to spend money on so i didn't factor in like new clothes i didn't factor in new beauty products um food things like that this is kind of like last year i did this and then i just factored in all the outgoings i have for like my personal life and my business and then i put everything else into my savings account and then I have like another um, bank account where I can use like my personal money so if I want to if I'm doing like my food shop or if I want to buy some new gym kit I don't know I bought that yesterday 
um, then I will use it out of that money. But yeah, my savings account, I don't touch. I literally just put most of my money in there and leave it. Um, and also, I think once you start saving, you get really obsessed with it and you want to carry on saving. It's quite addictive, like seeing the money go up especially when you have a goal in place. I think I find it really hard to do things when I don't have a specific end goal. For example, like working out, I used to find it really difficult unless I had a holiday coming up. I found it really difficult to stay on track, whereas now I just really enjoy it and it's part of my daily routine. Um, but yeah, give yourself a small goal or something to start you on the process of saving. But being self-employed is obviously very difficult when you don't have a set amount of money coming in each month. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what could go wrong, like your laptop could break, your camera could break and you might need to buy a new one. Um, you need to be prepared for all situations. So saving is really important. I'm really lucky because I'm really young and um, I don't need to move out. I haven't had to move to a different area for work, to rent, I haven't had to do anything like that. So I still live at home, so I don't have like tons and tons of outgoings, but I know that as of like next year, I'm gonna start having a lot more. So I wanna prepare for that now while I don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, also in the nature of our job, like my job is shooting content for fashion brands, beauty brands um, and things like that. So. A benefit of that is that you do get sent products to review and try and post onto your social media and shoot content of them. Same with clothing. So realistically, I shouldn't be spending a lot of money on those sectors because that's a part of my job. So yeah, I think it's just making wise decisions and kind of like preparing yourself for your future, which I'm so big about at the moment. <laughs> Uh, I just used the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil, which I really like. Um, I literally just brush my brows and then do a tiny, tiny bit of the pencil just in the front because my brows are quite sparse here. I literally just do a tiny bit because my eyebrows are very dark. So I'm just going to use the Refi, Refi or Refi, I'm not sure, um, brow gel, which... Honestly, I cannot recommend enough. I do have a highlight on my Instagram just showing like how I do my brows, um, but it's literally the same every day. And this eyebrow product is incredible. Um, I've never used anything like it. I think it's meant to be similar to like the soap brows, but that's never worked for me. My eyebrow hairs are so long and it just doesn't hold them in place at all. But what I find with this brow gel is because it's quite thick and quite a lot of product comes out, I like to use a separate brush just to go back through it to shape it. Um, and you can kind of manipulate your eyebrow hairs however you want, like whether you want them to be really sticking up or you can kind of make them into more of a defined shape. Also, I like to press them into my into my skin a little bit because I think it looks quite quite nice. You just have to work quite quickly because once the product starts drying, um, it's quite hard to move your eyebrows around. <laughs> Let's do another question. Would love to know about your goals for your career, what you want to achieve. This is such a difficult question to answer. I mean, I have like, I'm just gonna line my lips with MAC uh, Spice. I do have like goals for my career, but do you know what since I used to be such a planner and like really want to plan out my entire life but since we've been in lockdown and can't plan anything it's really changed how I 
like see my life because you just don't know what's going to happen you don't know if like i like i might change my mind and be like i don't want to do this anymore i mean i probably definitely won't because i love my job but I, you just don't know i think for me goals with my career at the moment are mainly based around kind of like my personal growth moving out having my own space and then that kind of allowing me to progress further because i'm i don't feel kind of held back by not being in my own home um i think once you're in your own personal surroundings and you can style it how you want that can then be an avenue for content like i could show you more interior stuff and you know all things like that um and the same with monday monday is always going to be like my little child it's difficult having kind of the influencer side and then monday which is like my photography studio um because it's kind of balancing them both and some months i will be really busy with monday other months i'm really busy with my own brand so yeah balancing them both is definitely something that's quite difficult in terms of what i want to achieve oh sorry i don't really know like i feel like i have things in my head but i don't want to say them because i don't like to jinx it um so yeah i don't really know what i want to achieve i mean i definitely just want to keep working at it i've only had monday for a year so i mean it's not it's not that long at all um I feel like I've still got so many things I want to do, so many shoot ideas, just like so many different avenues to go down. This lipstick is Pillow Talk, Charlotte Tilbury, one of my favourites. Um, yeah, I think... Sorry, I didn't answer that question very well, but I think just to summarise, um, my goals for my business would be just to keep like plodding away at it, keep, keep working hard, keep creating content and just improve the content. Like every year I'm looking back at my old content and thinking, wow, like I've really improved or my eye has got stronger with like angles and positioning, framing, things like that. Um, work with a variety of brands. I'd really like to work with uh, like much more different brands, um, not just fashion and beauty, like going into other sectors. That's definitely a, like a short term goal. Um, but yeah, blue, I'm, I'm quite like blue sky thinking, but at the moment it's quite difficult because you can't actually put like a physical plan in place so i'm just going to do my lashes and then that's my face done i'm just going to curl my lashes with eyelash curlers this is the hourglass one and honestly it's incredible my eyelashes are so straight so you basically cannot see them but as I said to you the other day, I've been using the um, Rapid Lash Serum in the evenings and I cannot believe how good it is. Um, I'm just going to use this Black Magic Mascara from Isla. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Um, I really like this. I just try and put it on like the ends of my lashes first. Because I find that it does get a little bit clumpy. There we go. Um, let's do the other eye. What I like to do is do like a thin coat. Then do the other eye. And then go back to it. And add a little bit more. And sometimes I wait till they're completely dry. And then I recurl them once I've done the mascara. How is everyone feeling about lockdown? I am honestly so over it now. 
I'm trying to stay really positive every day and like make sure I stick to my morning routines, waking up, doing some exercise, having breakfast, like getting ready, washing my hair, you know, all of those things. But I sometimes do have days where I'm just like, I don't want to do any of that today. <laughs> it does come in phases though. It is really difficult. I think everyone just needs to cut themselves a bit of slack. Like, we've been in the middle of a pandemic. This doesn't happen. This isn't normal. Okay, and finally, I'm just going to do a little bit of the YSL Brow Couture Brow Gel. Just over my brows a tiny bit because I just really like the colour that this adds to my brows. Yeah, I hope, um, I'm going to leave the questions there because I've answered quite a long answer that probably doesn't even make any sense. I feel like I'm going to watch this back and think, what the hell did I say? Um, whenever I'm multitasking like that, I feel like I don't even know what I say. I'm just going to do some Fix Plus Magic Radiance Hydrating Spray from MAC. I like this, but I do find it really wet. Like the spray is so strong. So I wish I had longer arms to... Okay, and that is my everyday makeup for shooting. When I'm not shooting, I do the same thing. I just um, don't wear foundation. So yeah, that's me done. I've just spent the past two hours shooting some new content oh my god i need to put all those clothes away um and i've just got changed into adenola leggings these are my favorite ones and this jumper from french connection which i absolutely love also astrid and Mew sent me some gorgeous new jewelry pieces as a little gift so i'm gonna go downstairs and show you the pieces that they sent um and I think I'm going to have a cup of tea and I want to sit down and try and finish my book. I'm reading Three Women by Lisa Tadeo and I've only got a little bit left and I really want to try and finish it. So for my, my lunch break, I'm going to try and finish the rest of this before I get on with some admin. Um, so yeah, I'll go and show you the jewellery that Ashton and Mew sent. I love these earrings. They're so cool. They're like twisted kind of. I think they're so cool. Already put these earrings on they are so cool they're like these kind of like twisty gold hoops um and they're really chunky which i really like small hoops to be quite thick and chunky because i feel like you notice them a little bit more and i really especially like them with my hair like this um so that's those ones i will link all of these pieces down below as well in case you want to treat yourself um i love ashton mew they are one of my favorite jewelry brands so this is another pair of um earrings these ones are a little bit smaller so i could actually wear these in my second hole if i wanted to um they're this gorgeous like crisscross detail again chunky and gold really nice i love gold earrings also, the boxes they come in are so handy for storing and taking on holiday and things like that. Oh, a little necklace. Oh, this is so cute. So they do have really nice necklaces as well. Um, that is so cute. A little pendant. I also love using their chains um, just like on their own. Oh, I thought I had one on. I did have one. Um, yeah, just on their own, plain, look really nice. And then lastly, they sent me another ear cuff. That's one of my favourite things about Astrid and Mew is their ear cuffs. So if you don't have any piercings around your cartilage, which I don't, you can, well, you don't have to worry about getting them pierced because you can use their little ear cuffs. So is that going to focus? Probably not. This one is like two bands, one is diamonds, one is just gold. Let me put it in and then you can see. So when I put them on, I always put them around the top first and then just like bring it down my ear. There we go. 
so pretty. So I really like this actually because it's got the two rings. I feel like it adds a little bit more to your ear. This earring is also from Astrid and Mew. It's so pretty with the diamonds, like a really subtle sparkle. Oh my God, I love that. I'm gonna show my mum. So I am now going to try and put my coffee table together, which I'll show you in a sec. So this is my coffee table. Um, this is the base. And then this is obviously the top. I thought I had not been sent these. So I actually phoned up this morning and said, oh, you haven't sent me the right, you haven't sent me any fixings. And then my dad was like, Lauren, you didn't look, you didn't, these are so heavy by the way. He said, oh, you didn't look inside and they were in here. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna have to try and build this, but it is so heavy. I literally can't even move it. And my brother picked this up as well. I don't know how. Oh, I don't know how he did that. Anyway, I thought it'd be fun for us to build this together somehow. I think I'm gonna have to figure out oh, where to put it first because it's so heavy. Once the lid goes on, I'm not gonna be able to move it. I will link the company where I got this from down below because um, they have loads of other things in this marble as well. And I absolutely love it. Okay, I've just had my lunch. Um, I'm gonna show you the coffee table. I've just been sat here doing a bit of work. Look at it. Oh my God, I love it. It's literally perfect. Um, I'll just get this ugly water out of my It's so nice. I've just got myself a green tea and I brought my candle down as well because I'm going to light that later. I um, oh, just love it. It's literally so perfect. And I've just been sat on my laptop writing some blog post edits because I've got quite a few that I have kind of got planned that you guys have requested 10 to 3 now had some soup for lunch so i'm just gonna sit in here for the rest of the day until jack finishes work and that's about it for today really Good morning, just about, it's nearly 12 o'clock. I have had quite a productive morning. You saw I had my porridge. I had a call with Chloe. We have like a weekly little debrief, like we chat about work, um, we chat about life. It's really nice, I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I did that. Also had a few deliveries that I would like to show you. First things first, this jumper is from H&M. It is quite old, um, but I do think it's online. So I will try and link it below or a similar one. And I will also link all my jewelry because all of this is from Astrid and Mew and then my rings are from Mango. So I will link them all. Um, so I just wanna do a little really quick, speedy unboxing. First things first, all of these pieces are gifted by the way, just to clarify. Um, but I could pick whatever I wanted. So these are things that I would actually buy as well. So first things first, Office kindly let me choose a pair of shoes and I love Office. I've actually bought so many shoes from them in the past and I wanted a pair of boots that would be really good for the spring. So I went for these, I absolutely love them. I will link all these pieces down below as well. They are just the perfect like spring boot. They're quite um, narrow, they're not too chunky. The actual bit that goes up the leg is quite thin and flexible, so it just feels a bit lighter. And I love this detail. I think that's so pretty. And the gold hardware, the track sole. I just really like them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to style these with like dresses, midi dresses, even kind of like mini dresses. I really like styling boots like that. Um, yeah, I love them. Jeans, like suits, really cool. Absolutely love them. So yeah, I will link them down below and I got a three. I need to try them on still, but love them. And then I, and then I got a few pieces from ASOS. Um, ASOS asked me if I wanted to pick 
some bits from their site and obviously I said yes because I love ASOS. So I picked up some bits for spring that can be really nice for transitioning from like the colder months into like layering and that kind of thing. And these are also things that are really good for wearing, working from home as well, because we don't know how long I'm gonna be in this situation for. So first things first is this little cardigan top. Love it. It's really tight fitting, which I love. So if you watched my last vlog, you will have seen I bought a cardigan from Arquette, which is kind of similar to this, but I wanted it to be this tight. Um, I still love it though. But yeah, this is gorgeous, more of like a top and it kind of has that like silhouette frame a little bit. Um, but again, just cream, really simple and gorgeous. I love it. I got this in a size six um, and that's just ASOS brand. These are all just like ASOS brand. Um, the next, this one, which I think is gorgeous. I absolutely love this color. I feel like it really suits me for some reason. Um, and yeah, it's just like a really nice little sweatshirt jumper. I probably would have these undone. I cannot tell you how soft this is. Um, I can't remember the prices, but again, I will link all of these things down below. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I'm gonna shoot these things tomorrow, I'm really excited. This is so soft. I'm gonna wear this all weekend. I absolutely love it. I wonder if they had any other colors because I actually might go on and order the other colors because that is so well made. Love that. Um, then I ordered, you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram last spring, summer, that I just love dresses. In the spring, summer, dress, dresses are pretty much all I wear. They're so easy to throw on. You can just chuck on a pair of sliders, pair of trainers, boots, like they're just so easy. So I like to get quite a good dress collection and dresses sell out very fast online. I bought quite a few from H&M and Under the Stories last year loads of them sold out so i picked up this one from asos i got a size six i think i actually think i could have got this in a in a size four because um there's quite a lot of material and it's quite long but it's just this camel like maxi dress got that gorgeous fluted end and then ruched in at the waist so beautiful i'm not overly keen on this material um, I don't know if you can hear it. It's quite like scratchy, but I think it still looks quite expensive and chic. But the last thing I've got to show you is this loungewear set, which is this gorgeous lilac colour. When I have like gym wear or track suits and like kind of loungewear, I don't mind adding colour into those because I think it's quite nice. Like it cheers up your day, it brightens up your life. I just don't like wearing colour in outfits. Um... So yeah, this is a gorgeous set, lilac, ribbed leggings, and this little bra top, like crop top thing. I'm probably gonna use this as loungewear as opposed to like actual gym wear because um, the material is not really active wear. I thought this material was gonna be like lycra, but I didn't check the description and it's ribbed, which I still love, and is perfect for lounging around. Like I'd literally wear this on Sunday with like a sweatshirt or something like that. And you could actually style this and wear it with a blazer or something like that, quite cool. So yeah, that is all the pieces. I will link them all down below for you. And I hope you enjoyed that mini little haul. I am now gonna have to get on with some cleaning because I've got hoovering to do and loads of clothes to put away. I've got a bit of a boring rest of the day to be honest. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna film. I've just got like sitting on my computer and cleaning. But tomorrow I'm going to be doing a street style shoot. So I'll take you along to that to finish off the week. So that should be good. And yeah, I've also got a mango delivery that should be coming today, actually, which has got some gym wear in. So if that does arrive today, I will show you what I picked up. I'm hoping that the pieces will arrive before I do my workout later so that I can test them out. taking Gracie out for a quick walk we're just heading out to the park um to get her some fresh air I've just spent the last kind of two hours cleaning hoovering doing some washing tidying up all of that kind of stuff um so yeah gonna get some fresh air I've been waiting
waiting for my mango order to come before I do my workout, but I don't think it's going to come today. So I decided to just pop on this lilac ASOS um, little set. It's so cute. I love it. I think it's really nice. And I'm going to go and do a Pilates workout now. Um, I basically just spent the whole day cleaning, which has been really good. My room is now pretty spotless minus the washing and the new clothes that I've got um but yeah it's looking really nice so I need to go get my body moving and then I can sit down on my laptop and just do loads of admin this afternoon good morning everyone today is Friday I am just prepping for today's shoot I've got ready and done my hair and makeup and everything and I've just planned three looks, like complete looks, shoes, bag, layers, coats, everything. And I am now going to just pack it all together so that um, everything's organized. I've got my hairbrush. And yeah, I'm gonna head off soon. I think we're going in like half an hour. And I'm gonna shoot three looks and then one coat. So it'll be like four all together. But yeah, I really love the outfit. So I will show you each one and I'll try and show you while we're shooting as well. Just got in the car. I've loaded my outfits in the back. I usually either hang them up on the little hooks that you get in the car or I lay them down. Um, so yeah, off to shoot location. We are at our shoot location and it's so windy and freezing. I'm shooting spring outfits. This is one of the tops from ASOS. Um, we actually only got one more look to do, which is good. And yeah, it's just so cold. I think it's like the wind is just freezing. So I'm gonna do my last outfit and then we can go home. Oh my God, I'm so, <laughs> look at my hair. windswept okay shoot is done um i just did the last outfit i shot this other asos cardigan which i showed you yesterday it's really really nice i actually love those photos a lot um so time to head home unpack the stuff sorry this is like the worst angle ever i'm trying to put my seat on um unpack my stuff or pack away my stuff and then edit my pictures and plan my feed. I'm back in the office. I have actually done quite a lot since I last filmed. I ate some soup. I went on a dog walk and I've just got back. So um, it's now 2.30 and I've just come in the office to sit down and edit this week's video and get it all scheduled and uploaded. Um, so I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I appreciate all of you watching and subscribing and liking and everything. It means the world and is super helpful when you're trying to grow a YouTube channel. Um, but do let me know in the comments or just drop me an Instagram DM um, if there's anything you want to see specifically in next week's vlog because I will make sure to focus on that. Obviously, there's not a whole lot to do and my days are quite samey. So I'm hoping I've included enough variation for you and it's not boring. But yeah, just let me know anything you want to see and yeah, I will see you in next week's vlog. It's going to be quite a good one, I think. I've got, the weather's going to be good. So hopefully it'll be quite spring, spring vibes. And I've got a really exciting parcel coming. Um, the brand begins with a B and a V. Two words, B and V. Can you guess? See you next week.